installment. Had your little catch up? Had your little catch up? Did you check your phones? There was more talk over there than what there was when I was coaching. What's going on? Now I expect big things. Now I expect big things. Big, big things. Now we're on to your favorite part, defense. So there's going to be like lots to do here. Okay. Uh, so now go back into pairs again and get a ball between each pair. Uh, just make sure those balls are off from here. Let's start over here, girls. Let's start over here. All right, come here. Um, everyone, uh, let's go off over to the sideline, everyone else. All right, let's just start here. Start here. Yeah, uh, you got the ball. So you go and uh, you're facing this basket here. So you're defending her on her side. Okay, so now just building up some defensive transition. So we start like one-on-one. -on -one. So you're gonna start a step behind. Okay, you've got one or two bounces and you're going to lay it up. Okay, so what happens once you lay it up and make a layup? You become what? Go from offense to defense. Okay, so you're going to try and contest her layup, but like not foul her. Okay, so you can test it without fouling. Okay, your job is putting pressure on you to make a layup. Okay, so you run in, you make the layup, you contest it. Okay, so now you get the ball. So now you're on what now? Offense. So which way do you need to go now? All right, so now there's no inbounder. You're just going to turn and go. So you've got to go from making the layup here to now trying and getting back in front, okay? So what we're going to try and do is break this down rather than go full court. My thing is in defensive transition, number one is like stop the ball, then slow it down. If you can get one turn in the back court, that's about probably all you're going to do. So we're only going to play it to halfway, okay? So if she takes off that way, my job is to get my nose and my head across over the ball so it makes her change direction. Why? It slows down the speed of the dribble, okay? Maybe you might go, yeah, we wanna keep everyone on their weak hand and you wanna keep it on the left side of the floor or the right side of the floor, whatever that may be. That might be up to you. But for coaches, like if you get one turn in the back court, they've done their job. So your job is once you make the layup is to get her to turn once before she hits halfway. Your job is to try and get to halfway as quickly as possible and the drill's done, okay? And then girls, next two pair will come in, you two will fill the back of the line. All right, ready? Here we go. Good, get it, get a turn, get a turn, get a turn. Good, good, next pair go, good, good, good job. Next pair, three, two, one, go. Good, good, get a turn, get a turn, get a turn, get a turn. So you're gonna get right across, so girls, Coach, a teaching point. Come back, go again, come back. Just jump out. Which way did she go? That way, which was on her what hand? Right hand, yep. So I think she's pretty probably strong on her right hand. So come here, so come back to where you had the ball. So my job is, she's going hard on her right hand. My job is to get my nose and my toes across here to make her go, okay? Because if I'm running beside, she's not gonna turn. So this is the other thing coaches like, we all do a great job of just running beside our player. We've got to sprint and I'm not going to get in front by running beside. So I might have to sprint two or three steps to get across here and go, all right, you're not coming right. I'm going to push you back to there. Okay, next pair in. Next pair. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Good. On defense, quick. Good talk, good talk. Here you go. Good, get a turn, get a turn, get a turn. Good, good. Next pair. Three, two, one, go. Good, go, get it, get it, go. Get a turn, get a turn. Next pair. Everyone goes through once. Ready, go. Good, rebound, go. Sprint, sprint, sprint. So we got to... So, and the coaches, this is the, the next thing is like about the offensive part about what is your next job? You lay it up, your next job is to get back in on defense, whether that's pressure the ball, whether that's sprinting back. So, hey, we do a good job and it's like, it's a celebratory thing of you make a good pass, you stand there, look, you shoot it, you stand there and look, is like, I lay it up, my next job is to get on the ball straight away. Okay, so it's got to be your next job, it's got to be quick. Ready, here we go. Next job, go, get it, get it, get it, turn it, turn it, turn it. 
Good. Next pair. Three, two, one, go. Good. Got to get a turn. Get in front. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Good. Good. Excellent job. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Get across. Good. Good. Next pair. Three, two, one, go. Get up to the ball. Get up to the ball. Press the ball. Pressure it. Good. Turn it. Good. Last pair. Three, two, one, go. Rebound. Up, up, up. Get a turn. Nice. Good job. Nice. Excellent job. Hold it there. Good job. So uh, two up here. Uh, next two. You don't have a basketball. You're on the other side. You're on the other side. Okay. So now, uh, darks are in on defense, whites on offense, so you'll be out there, so you play the three-point line, and you're right playing here. So you'll be in a defensive stance where the ball would be, okay? So now, you're the same thing, you're starting on, no, no, you're right, exactly the same. You're trying to mess with my drill. You're trying to mess with my drill, right there, exactly, okay? So you're laying it up again, exactly the same. So you lay it up, good, go. All right, so now, off a normal layup, what would happen? You'd have to do what now? Inbound the ball. So now you're going to be up on the ball, okay? Your job is now to, you're on offense. Your job now is to try and get the ball. So come back to here. So just go back to the start. There. Blacks are on defense. So you're like here, you're on offense, okay? So now as the layup goes, okay, you see that. You've got to get to her and try to make her catch it as far as we can to the corner. So we're going to go, hold up to the ball. We're going to try and deny this pass as much as we can. We're not going to deny it so much and be on our front foot where they catch it over the top because then that's obviously giving up a layup. So it's really hard to go from, I'm here, but as she goes, I want to be, hold right there, on her top hip. Okay, so I want to be her shoulder to my chest and I want to be able to straddle both of her feet. So why? Because it keeps me in between me and the ball and her, but it's also if I go too far forward, she's going to go back. If I am come back again, if I'm too far back here, she just runs and gets it without any pressure, okay? So now, as you try and pass this ball into here, so you've got to get up and you've got to pressure that, okay? Your job is obviously you've got to step in bounds now. Hold right there. Your job is to show her a crowd, okay? So why we want to slow down the dribble. So I'm going up from defending the ball here. Ball gets passed. I need to jump to the... Jump to the ball. Yeah, Saturday, it's a hard day, isn't it? Jump to the ball. So I've got to get in behind the ball. Why? Because if she starts to drive, I'm here to help my teammate. Okay, I don't want to be in full denial here because then when she drives, there's no help, okay? So all we're gonna do is you're gonna pass it in, you're gonna call plug, I'm just plugging the gap, yep? So you're gonna dribble, two, two, pass it. I'm gonna close out. Now you gotta jump in behind the ball. The reason why we wanna get behind the ball, same thing, so she sees a crowd. One, two dribbles, yep, pass it across to your teammate, plug. So we're only playing this to halfway, okay? So you get it in, ball pressure, Deny her the catch, but keep her in front. Plug, take one or two dribbles, kick it, plug again. We're only playing to halfway. Ready? Here we go. Good. Up, 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 up. No easy catch. No easy catch. Good. Where did you go? Went around the wrong way, but what did you try and do? Steal the ball. Okay. So one thing here. One thing here. Get it? Yep. Now you swung through. That's okay. So she swings through. It's the same thing. I've got to be on her top hip, making sure she's catching it under pressure. Now you need to see, so you know where the ball's going. Okay, you see it going that way. My job's not to run here. Okay, my job's to get back in behind the ball. Okay, whether it's that way, but what you did is took a swipe at this along on the way past, getting some mackers on the way home from school and then going. Okay, your job is to help your teammate not get blown by. Let's go again. No bites of the ball. Ready, here we go. Good, get up, get up, pressure it, pressure, good. Good pressure, good pressure. Plug, 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 good. Plug in behind, nice. Good job, good job. Next group of four in. 
Ready? Go. Good. Now up on the ball, up on the ball, up on the ball. Good. Make a catch it deep. Good. Plug, plug. Come back. Come back to where the ball inbounded. Come back to where the ball inbounded. Okay, so you did a good job pressuring this. Great pressure. So catch it. So throw it in where you did. Yep. Now, what did you do? You just stayed with your man, okay? So your job is get behind the ball, okay? Because why? The ball's going to go this way fast. If you stay here, she just turns and there's no help, okay? So my job is I've pressured the ball. Great job. My next part is I've got to help my teammate and I've got to plug in this gap so she can't drive. If she does drive, I can recover back to my man, okay? Next, pair, next group of four. Three, two... One, let's go. Good, rebound. Up on it, up on it, up on it. Good, good, good. Come back, go again. Now, now we're going to have an issue very soon. Okay, what's going to be my biggest issue today? What happened over there? Oh, you don't want to talk to me? You want to talk to yourselves? You don't want to talk to me? All right. But what, is, what does talking do? Who does it help? It helps you. Yeah, definitely. It helps you because if I say ball, that means I'm going to be on the ball. Okay? I'd look pretty silly if I'm standing over here calling ball, wouldn't I? Yeah. I thought I'd do that rather than you look silly. Okay? What else does it do? It helps you because it puts you in the right position. What else does talking do? Be a good teammate, so it helps your teammates. So if we're all silent, how do we know what's going on? We don't. So we can't be a good teammate and we don't know what's happening. All right? Ready? Go. Talk, talk. Inbound it, inbound it, inbound it. Good, next group of four. Now, talk needs to be what else? What else? So we're talking, so we're calling out what we're doing. How does it need to be so everyone can hear? Loud, loud. Ready, go. That's okay, good. Next group of four, last one. Three. Two, one, go. Go back, go again. Now, awareness. Do we know who's on offense and who's on defense? Ready? Darks and lights. Does that make sense? Yeah, is that what usually happens in basketball? We're in a light uniform and a dark uniform? Yeah, something like that. Ready? Here we go. Up on the ball, no easy catch. No easy catch, good, no easy catch. Good, good, don't. Get up, get up, get up. So what happened there? What happened there? One, easy of a catch, okay? So your thing is come back and recreate this. And this is another point of like just letting them fight through things, but then also like teaching them, asking them like questions. So the ball got in here, so the ball was in here, yep. She cut like through, okay? So now you've got to be pressuring this, okay? Why? Because it then buys your teammate time to get back here. Now, what we can't have is we do this and the same thing, we stand and look at the ball, okay? Our next job is to do what? Get back. So I've got to be here, up on the ball, the ball goes. My next job is to sprint back to here. Now, she turns and faces, okay? She comes at me, I can help, but if she starts to go, hold right there. I'm no longer staying with the ball. I can help, but I've got to start to come back with my player. Okay, so my job is not to just run at this randomly and give up an open pass, but all I've got to do is she starts to come, I'm staying. She starts to run, I'm staying in between her. Now I can sprint and then get that other turn or square it off. Okay, go back, do that again. So we're not trying to create offense, we're trying to just put pressure on the ball. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Good. Pressure it, pressure it. Good. Good. Get that. Nice. Good. 
Next group of four. Excellent job. Now, just walk through this. So some key teaching points on this for the coaches. So lay it up, all right? So inbound it. So number one is evaluate our pressure, okay? You can be up right up here. You don't have to be standing off. So arms, waving, this. You can be jumping. Make that hard for her to make a catch. So that's number one is our evaluate our pressure on the ball, okay? Evaluate our pressure here, okay? And our pressure here is if we stand up too upright, I won't be able to move. So we've got to be in a good stance to be able to take this away and we've got to be physical with this, okay? Because if you give people space, what happens? They can move freely. If I play on her hip, which way is she only going to go? That way or if she cuts by my face, that's okay. I can stay on her hip and keep riding her out, okay? So we need to evaluate our pressure. Now, when she does catch it, so catch it, turn and face. What is important when we're guarding the ball? In a stance, exactly. So now, secondly, we've got to have stance with what? Yep, hand pressure. Not like that. That's an aeroplane bird flapping, okay? That looks great, but we've got to have pressure on the ball, okay? So number one is stance, and then hand pressure on the ball. Now you sprint in behind, hold right there. You sprint in behind. What are we talking about now? Where you're located or your position on the floor. Okay, so number one is what? Testing your listening skills over there. If I ask the coaches and they, they know the answer, everyone has to run. Pressure, very good. Number two, what was over here first? Yes, and then secondary? What did we just talk about? Stance and hand pressure, and then, yeah, what did we say the word was? Starts with a P. Plug. So plug and position, okay? Then our last part is what do we all have to do as part of that? Talk, all right? So let's go back, go from the start again. So we've got to have what? What's the first thing? Pressure. pressure. Second thing? Physicality, yep, yep. Stance and hands. Pressure and communication. Very good, let's go. Good, up, 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 up. Good, new group of four in. Ready, go. Go back, go again, ball here. Go back to where you were, hold it right there, hold it right there. So, and this is where it's easy when you talk about like either having success, not having success, how we like teach it and do it, is evaluate just not what happens afterwards. So what was my point that I just made 30 seconds ago? Pressure. Pressure, is that? Pressure, yes. Mm. There, you're long, okay? So that isn't pressure. All right, that's not pressure. We've got to be up on the ball, so we're going to do that again. So we've got to start with our pressure's got to be the number one thing. In defensive transition, we've got to slow the ball down. Here we go. Go, attack, attack. Good. Up now, up now. Up, 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 up. Good. Good. Get there, get there, get there. Good. Nice. Good work. Next group of four. Ready? Go. So, so, how many, hold up there, how many of you girls have either parents or coaches sitting over there? How many? Next time parents or coaches, they ask for something. Mm. 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 Who asked for a pair of shoes? Who asked to go to Macca's? Who asked for all of those things? I want to go to basketball training. I want to stay home from school. We can't text it. Yep. Yep. 
We don't have mental telepathy that we know what we're going to do. So we're calling, we're up on the ball with pressure here. What can we say? Ball. Okay. What can we say over there? What are you doing? Deny. What can we say when they catch the ball? Ball. What can we say when the ball goes in and we've got to get to our position? Plug. Yep. This is your last chance. Does everyone get those words? Yep. Yep. Ready? Ready? I say go, not you. I say ready, you say yes. Ready? 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 Go! We have success because we talked. Maybe it was our talk that got us success. Who knows? But it's good. Change over. Next group. This needs to be... Hey, girls, we need to move on, but so this needs to be the best one. We've got to get pressure, denial, plug, talk, stop the ball before it gets to halfway. Ready? Go. Good. Thank you for helping us out with the bad pass. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Here we go. So same group. Another blue and uh, light and dark over here. Another light and dark at halfway. One, you don't need a basketball. Do ever we really play with two basketballs? Very rarely, yeah. All right, so now, same drill, lay it up. Up on the ball, up on the ball, okay? So now we gotta, do, I think right now my evaluation is we gotta do a better job of being physical with this. Because what's happening is they're cutting across our face and they're catching it on the run. Okay, so right now we've got to focus on doing a better job at denying this without them letting go back door. Okay, so same thing. Get open, say we pass it. Okay, so now let's say uh, inbounder. Okay, so let's go white. You go right back so you're on offense. So go right back, start at the foul line. So blacks on defense. Oh, blacks on offense. Blacks on offense, so white stay back. So now, we need to add in the third defender. Now, you've got to start at the foul line, but you can move across the court in the back court. Okay, so you can move. So your job is, is while all of this is happening, I've got to see my man. Okay, so I've got to be on their lower shoulder. So I've got to see here. Because if the ball gets entered, the ball gets entered, your first job is to what? Get ball, take ball, and do what? Get ball, take ball, pressure ball. Yep, very good. Your next job is to plug so she can't drive through the middle, okay? Your job is to, I've got to see ball and see man, okay? If she starts to come, say you start driving down this way, drive down the sideline, all right? I'm here, okay? I've got to be able to, one, either I'm in denial this way, and coaches, this is up to you, whether you want to teach full denial down the sideline or you can just be in open stance. In open stance allows you to play here and then they go to see that they've got that pass then I might be able to go deflect it or steal it okay or I can get there in flight time so it depends on what you want to be do I want to deny this pass down the sideline or do I just want to play in the gap okay just walk it back to there all right so say you get in you dribble take your dribbles so I'm here I'm helping, I'm standing, recovering, you pass it across. Yep, there. Now I've got to change my stance here. If she changes sides of the floor, I've got to change my stance to be here. All right, so go back. So you're just going to move, you can change, but you've got to change your stance, okay? So this is what we're going to do, just to help you out and get an understanding, okay? So inbound the ball where you did. Yep, inbound it. Now, hold there. For now, I just want you to take, so sprint, get onto the other side. So you're in the plug spot, don't follow her. Okay, so what's your number one priority in the plug spot? To stop her to get going middle, okay? I want you to catch it, take two dribbles to the middle. All right, and kick it. So you'll stunt recover, get across the side, fill out opposite, stunt recover, kick it, there. 
there, and now we're done. Okay, so we get that. So what we're gonna work on, coaches, is just the initial first part of it, and then get into good positioning, okay, to help us, okay? So you're just gonna do this half pace to get started, okay? Here we go. Go again, go again, make a layup. Here we go. Get our talk, our pressure. Talk and pressure. Good, plug it, plug it, plug it. Good. Good, good. Come back, change over. Offense, go to defense. Offense, go to defense. Three, two, one, and go. Good, up, up, up. Good. Which way did you run? No, come back again. I'll show you. It's okay. I'll show you. So you were up on the ball here. You are up on the ball, right? So you did a good job pressuring this. The ball went, and your first initial action was do this, okay? But what's your responsibility? Plug, okay? So I'm up on the ball here. I don't want to turn my back to the ball. So ball's here. I'm up pressuring. I've got to turn, see the ball, because I can still see where she is, okay? But my first initial reaction is we've got to sprint, So because she might be super quick. So my initial reaction is I've got to sprint to here. I've got to get to here. Okay, and get there. But we can't do that if we turn our back to the ball. All right, and this is where we gotta take away for like coaches, our, our thing is it's man-to-man -man defense, but it's also help and position defense. Ready, go. Good, up, 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 up. Pressure, pressure. Good, stance, plug, plug. Good, pass it, plug. Good, good, good. Change over, uh, keep that same group. Keep the same group. Now. What I want you to do, change positions. Change positions. So rotate through, you gotta play a different position on weight. So another thing is just making sure that each player feels comfortable by playing every position because obviously it's a different responsibility. So it may mean that people like are standing out but they stand out and watch, but just so they feel comfortable rotating positions. So you're gonna do exactly the same, inbound it, two dribbles to the middle, kick it, Two dribbles again, kick it and we're done. It'll be up the floor and change position. Ready, here we go. Plug, 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 plug. Good, 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 good. Excellent, excellent. Change positions. <coughs> uh, no, that same group stay and just change positions again. The same group stay. Who starts the drill? Go. Go again. Make layups. Go again. Hey, hold up there. Don't, don't let it catch it through your face. Push it to the corner. Here we go. Ball pressure. Ball pressure. Good, good, good. Plug, plug. Who's saying plug? Me. I look like the idiot because I'm calling plug and I'm on the baseline. So you make me look silly, but I'm talking for you. Okay, here we go. Good. Come back. I know we're stopping it lots, but what happened then? She went back door. So it's be up on her back foot and her back hip. Okay, as soon as you get in front of her, she's gonna go back. Ready, go. Up, up, up. Good, good. Good. Come back, go again. Now, and this is, this is the thing where you can put things in so they don't get too far ahead of themselves. And obviously, we're doing this three on three, all right? This is not five on five where there'd be more people. What was the initial part of the drill? We took two dribbles, kicked it, and then what happened? What is, I'm trying to read your sign language. I'm not sure what, what. So we took, what did you do? That, and I know you're fast and got speed, but for us, and this is where they need to understand is the first thing is get the position, get the talk and get the pressure part right, okay? And that's okay, that's gonna happen in the game. We want you to play with speed on offense and get ahead of it, but right now for the drill, we want you to be able to change position and know your floor spots. Okay, here we go. 
Up, 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 good. Up, plug, plug, good. Plug again, good, good, good. Change over, change over. So who hasn't had a go in those change positions in the dark? You all, you all done? Okay, so let's get subs in. A pair of you will need to stay. Hey, two guards. Yep, you come. Yep. Oh, do you want to go? You're right. You ready? Here we go. Good, good, good pressure. Good, excellent. And see, that's the value of staying in the plug. You can be there to help on the drive. You get that next pass, okay? You two change spots. Change spots. Change spots. Dark, change spots. Yeah, ready? Go. Good pressure, good pressure, good, good. Good, excellent. What's happened? We couldn't embed the ball. Good pressure, good pressure. Excellent. What have you got to try and do better? Get free. So go again. Excellent job, defense. Excellent job. Yep. Go. Up, up. Good, excellent. Up. What do we do? Excellent job in the first part. Okay, you had great pressure. Okay, so come back. You had great pressure on this. The ball went there. You had great pressure, but what did she do? She changed. So she changed and went there. You went back that way. I've got to change my feet and go back again. All right, so you did a great job on the initial part, but don't let it turn and spin back. So keep that contact. Keep physicality. We're going to go from here off the inbound. So denier, denier. Oh, which way? Which way? So right now, where can she go? Which way do you want her to go? Why do you want to go this way? Because it's closer to that sideline. Okay, we want to don't deter her from coming this way. Okay, get in, get in, deny her. Back foot, back foot. So right. Up, plug, 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 plug. Good, close out. Good, good, excellent. Okay, let's get back in. Let's start here again. Still here. So ball, ball here, and defense. Same that we had over there. Now we're gonna have black and white, that side of the floor, a dark and a white, that side of the floor, everyone else off. Okay, so now we're gonna go four on four, like this is like an extended, literally shell drill. So we drive it in. Yeah, actually, let's swap over. Let's you guys drive it in as the bigs. All right, so drive it in, layup. Okay, inbound and we must have what? Pressure, excellent, ball pressure. So you're in denial up there, exactly. Now you two back there, you can be higher up the floor, okay? Because this is what, a really long pass to get to your players, okay? So you can be up the line of the floor. Now the ball goes in, all right, you've got what? Ball. Excellent, so get on that. You've got what? Plug. Plug. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna talk here? What could you say? Help sideline, help sideline. What are you gonna say? Help middle, which you're in the middle of the floor right here. So now what I want you to do is try and attack to the middle here, so to attack the plug. Yep, now kick it, there. Now you've gotta come, what are you gonna help? Help sideline, where? Middle, yep, plug, okay. And we're going to get to there. As soon as you get to there, you can pass it to whoever and we play live. Got that? So what does there need to be first from the offense? An inbound pass and then what? Yep, no, from the offense. So once you inbound the ball, what have you got to do? Take two dribbles, kick it, and then it's live. The back line, what do you need to do? Number one thing. Talk, then as the ball changes sides, you need to change your position. Okay, got that? Ready? Uh, where do we start? Behind. Go. Up, up, up. Good, plug, 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 plug. 
Multiple errors, come back. So the first thing, what did you try and do? You, you try to go for more so than help, you try to go for a steal, okay? So we don't want to go for a steal because what we want is pressure. So going for steals creates opportunities for the offense to blow by us. So the ball went in, yep, same thing. Your job is, same thing, it's hard, coaches, for the players to want to backpedal and go. Okay, your job is, once the ball goes, I've got to turn and sprint. Okay, backpedaling's too slow. All right, then when I get to here, the ball went, and you did like this. So the ball went, you're in that plug, you did this. All right, rather than your job is to now what? Sprint and get in front of the ball. Okay, and what happened down here? What did you do? Yep. So another thing about our positioning. So take the ball back to there, our positioning. So when we're on the ball, what are we trying to do? Deny. Deny when we're on the ball. When we're off the ball, okay, we gotta be in a position where I can stay between the ball and my player. If I'm up too high on her top hip, she's gonna go back door. I need to be off the ball, below, okay? So a good teaching point, coaches, is when I'm trying to deny, I'm on their baseline hip, okay? Feet straddled. When I'm off the ball, I wanna be on their baseline hip. Why? It keeps me in between the ball and the basket and my player, okay? So you never wanna be higher than your player, otherwise she's gonna back cut, okay? Let's do that again. Three, two, one, go. Ball pressure, deny, deny, deny. Plug, plug, plug. Have one more go. What do you need to do? Turn and sprint. Excellent. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Deny, deny, deny. Plug. Good. Get that. Good. Good. Excellent. Come back. Go again. Excellent job. Three. No. Stay. Three. Two. One, go. Deny, deny, deny. Good, pressure, pressure. Good, good, pressure it, good. Yes, yeah, you can. Yep, you can. Go again. Excellent job, defense. Go. Up, up. Good, sprint, sprint, sprint. Good, good pressure, good pressure. Pressure the ball now, good. Good denial, excellent job. Much better playing back foot denial. Good job on the ball pressure, good job on the ball pressure. Let's change over, change over. Stay in your, sa ah, stay in your same positions. You don't get a red, no, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You get to play offense now. Why would you want to sub out? Ready, go. Up, deny, deny, deny. Good pressure, pressure. Good, plug, plug, get that. Excellent, excellent. Go again. Excellent job. Ready, go. <coughs> Up, go again, go again. Make layups. Go. Re Here we go. What was the problem, coaches? Getting out to plug, come back again. It's, it's very hard, come back, to where the ball got inbounded here. And this, this might be a hard analogy for you right now, okay? But what you're doing is literally trying to drive with your eyes closed because you can't see any oncoming traffic. Okay, so when we, your job is, you gotta see everything. And everything is the ball, because that thing that scores, okay? So your problem is, you did this. You ran with your back to the ball. So we don't know what's coming in. So you as a teammate have gotta be in plug, and then you gotta help your teammate when the ball comes to the middle, okay? So sprint and get to plug. Go again. Go. Up, pressure. What's your first job though? Pressure. Pressure, go back, go again. Here we go, you're all right. 
Got to be able to do multiple things. Here we go. Go. Up. Pressure. Come back. Go again. What happened, guards? What happened? Yes. Where do you need to be? You need to be, no, you need to be behind. You can't let her face cut you though. Yep, ready, go. Gotta be able to get a stop to finish. Get a stop to finish. Go again, here we go. Talk, ball pressure, keep the ball in front. Go, attack, go, go, go. Good, up, up, up. Good, plug, plug, plug. Good, good, get that, up the lane. Good, sprint back, good. Stay down, excellent job. Good, five, four, three, two. Hey, that's good. That is really good defense, really good. Uh, let's come in, girls. We are done. We are done. So I'll talk to you guys before I talk to the coaches. So thank you very much for taking the time today. Okay, and I hope you learned something as well. I would say though is you've got to do more talking. Okay, because I know when you go over there, you're going to talk a whole lot. Okay, so you're going to be better at helping you be in one. It's going to help you with your position on the floor. Number two, it's going to help you be a better teammate. And teams, and teams that win and teams that do well have good teammates that want to help each other. Okay, and to me, when you don't talk, it becomes like a selfish thing. But because everyone can do it. Okay, all right. So hands in. What do we say? Runners. runners, all right. Who's in? Runners, one, two, three, runners. runners. Thank you. Coaches, give them a hand. Round of applause. Thank you, girls. Questions? Girls, hold up. All the coaches ask. Sorry. Sorry, I know yep. there's some themes and principles you were trying to stick yep. through there. How do you keep them straight when it's starting to get complex because we kept having to break it down and down and down? And I think you have to. Is like until they actually like get it. Sometimes it might be worthwhile going back to then go forward again. So breaking down the one-on-one -on -one to the two-on-two -two mm -hmm. and then get that right and then go, all right, now we'll go back and introduce the third one, then the fourth one. And sometimes... If we've got to evaluate ourselves as coaches, are we teaching it right? Do they understand what we're getting at? And we get kind of frustrated, but it also, for us, it's always like reflect that if we're at a drill and we do a drill at practice and it's like bad, I always think of practice is like, did I actually coach it right? Did I teach it right? Was it like me that didn't actually communicate it like very well that they didn't get an understanding? Or was it too complex? Or how do we need to then break that down differently the next time that they do it. And I think too, by asking more questions is that's where they've got to think the game as well. Or the reasons as to, yeah, as the reason as to why, like, what do you need to do? Where do you need to be? And is that how you highlight if it's the way you're communicating? Yeah. Because if they give you the correct answer, it's just either one, they don't know. Two, they're not like listening or they just need more reps to understand it. So I think, and it, but then if they stand there and go, oh, well, we don't know, it's like, well, that's on us. So we've got to do a better job of, of teaching it. But if they can give you the answer, that's on them to be able to commit to it, to do it. And as I said, like, it's not going to be perfect every time. And you see the amount of times that we have to stop and break it down. But to me, as there gets a point, and, and I, I didn't today, but in practice, sometimes you just like, let it be messy. Because it's going to be messy. It's not going to be perfect. Like, let them fight through it play to the other end and go, all right, what did we see or what happened here? Because then they've got to think, oh, oh, was I up on the ball? Did I not deny? What did I do? In a normal practice, I'd let some of that fly and go. I wouldn't stop it as much because I know you guys have like an hour for practice. You don't have that much time to be able to like stop, start and do it. But I think for the key components in what you need to really push forward is stop, but then let it go to the other end and then evaluate, yep, and then evaluate. And then you can ask questions down the other end. All right, what happened? Okay, we didn't get that, all right, let's go. But I wouldn't, yeah, for, for today's purpose, I wanted to stop so that they actually got it and I un 
I knew that they understood what they were doing right or wrong. But two, I'd say in a normal practice, you'd let some of that go just because you need reps. Yeah. And it's gonna, as I said, it's gonna be messy at times. You gotta like live with the, the mess. Yep. Anything else? Any other, it can just be about this or any other coaching questions, whatever you may have. Bill, you got any questions? No, you're all quiet now. No. Yep. No. Anything else, coaches? No. All good. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks. As I said, really appreciate your time because it's you who takes time out of like your day, not only to upskill and help yourselves, but obviously to help the players. And I think that's a that's a huge thing. Our job, as I've always said, is to to get them to where they want to be and to help them be the best basketball players they can. But it's also impacting them as as people, which I think is important too. We're not just there to, I think we're not just there to coach the game, we're there to help them grow as people. Yeah, sure, yep. She turned out all right, I had to coach her, so we, we both came out both unscarred, fee. <laughs>